Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our final episode of Prism Reacts. In this episode, we shall be reacting to Photo Sent In by Emma Blackburn. Um, thank you so much for watching our series, and we, we've really appreciated having you there. Check this one out. Is that all right? <laughs> Emma, uh, lovely to meet you. Why don't you just tell us a bit about who you are, what you do, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, okay. Um, so at the moment, I'm finishing a master's in contemporary art history. So that's kind of the main thing I'm doing at the moment. And then I like to do, just kind of do art stuff in like my spare time and when I can. Um, so I sent in some photos to you guys. Like I like taking photographs. Um, I've got my granddad's old um, SLR camera, which I like to use a lot. Mm. That's fun. Um, I do lots of drawing as well, and I do kind of graphic see posters and things for different arts organisations so um, I've been interning and volunteering with a festival called Hidden Door up in Edinburgh for a bit mm. which has been a lot of fun and then um, I do posters for like um, a mark which is an experimental performance platform as well and the art project so <laughs> I know I just kind of do what? stuff when they come wow. up I don't really yeah. have it. Sounds really awesome though. That's a lot of cool stuff. What was, so what's the thing in Edinburgh, the hidden door? I, I wanted to know what that was. Oh, it's really fun. It's like an interdisciplinary arts festival. So they'll set up like a massive lineup of music, visual artists, spoken word artists, theatre, dance, kind of in quite a derelict space that doesn't get a lot of attention. So they'll use artists to create like installations to create a really kind of multidisciplinary experience. For the people that visit and it's entirely run by volunteers wow so yeah no one gets paid um but everyone does like a really great job it's always a massive team uh, they've recently just got charity status so they've moved the whole festival format online to live streams instead so that's kind of oh, wow. the current thing we're working on tell us what ideas and experiences are behind um the photos that you submitted so basically why did you choose these photos for this particular project what was your little decision making okay i guess when i submitted them it was still kind of a bit earlier on in lockdown so everyone was very much about figuring out this kind of indoor life <laughs> and then i know i've always enjoyed kind of indoor spaces i feel like they're really end up reflecting a person who lives there and stuff especially um coming from undergrad at university you tend to have you know your room which is your own space and you only get one room so you kind of fill it with things that you love and stuff so i submitted a few pictures of kind of indoor interiors kind of from my spaces and from my friends as well because um cause they're nice they're just really kind of comforting i think yeah and i like kind of pictures of people in their spaces so i think there was one of like my friend Maddie just kind of like lounging in my friend Ellen's bed and like yeah. a silhouette of me. Um, yeah, my friend Ellen, she has this really gorgeous house in um, Hope Valley in the Peak District. It's like a really lovely old farmhouse and oh. it's just so nice and it's really nice the to view. Get Is that the same um, place as the, the pictures with the houses in the background with the amazing hills in the background and like woodland areas? Is that the same place? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it just looks so good. <laughs> it's so that. lovely. It's like a breath of fresh air every time you visit it so I took a few pictures in there um, yeah. yeah and then just lots of kind of like <laughs> took lots of shadowy pictures <laughs> when I'd just gone home at the start of lockdown because you kind of you just when you're inside all the time you just notice the light moving across rooms mm. for some reason, you don't really notice otherwise when you're busy flitting around everywhere so instead yeah. of taking a few pictures like that yeah um, I completely agree with that actually yeah. like having been in the same place for so long because there's like so few variables you really then notice like the tiny changes around you a lot more than you used to so yeah I actually yeah. I understand and it's nice that you've kind of celebrated the um the positive things about being inside um because a lot of people have been you know speaking about or portraying the sort of like the restricted side of it and that sort of like held in captivity um sort of vibe so it's nice to have something that was actually more like at ease with the indoor space and actually like highlighting the nice things all right now we're on to the silly light-hearted questions i think before i want to ask a light-hearted question um i want to ask you um 
if you have any like preconceptions about how your photos are going to be reacted to. So this sort of like, you know, you just submit some photos to a random group of wind players. Um, and I wondered, yeah, if you had any sort of like expectations or like, yeah, thoughts about, ooh, like what's going to happen from our end? I just was kind of curious. You know, I honestly have no idea. Because I feel like, obviously they're quite like calm photos, I think. So it was, I don't know, picturing something kind of slow, kind of just quite chill. But I have no idea, no idea whatsoever. I know improvisation can go like any direction, really. Okay, so the funny questions, are you ready? These are our like yes. quirky ones. If your art was a location, so like a city, a place in nature or a monument, where would it be? Oh my gosh. Um... It's such an on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. God, where would it be? It's weird thinking about where it would be because it is of things, it is of places. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know, it would probably just be, um, probably be the uni bedroom that I've left behind in Edinburgh. Oh. I brought loads of stuff there that I love, like like things from my friends, things from everywhere, because <laughs> I didn't have any friends when I moved up there and stuff. So yeah, probably just a wall in my Edinburgh flat. <laughs> I like that. That's lovely. And yeah. actually, I think that creates a strong image for everybody, because I think we all did. You know, you all have that when you go off to university, and it's the first time you have a blank canvas room. And mm, it's yeah. the first time that you, like we're saying, you accidentally reflect parts of yourself outward. That, and you've maybe not done that process before of like choosing how you do that and then looking around and being like, oh, like this is me in a room a version of my life. So I like that. That's cool. Thank you, Jake. Cool. Well, well, have a thank lovely you day. so much. Yeah, yeah great thank for you me. So much, I'll end the recording there. <laughs>
Thank you. 